I was already enjoying the instrumental with Kid Millie's voice, even though I'm not familiar with him. But when Taman comes in... Hey everyone, welcome back to the brand new Honest Reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out Black Rose by Taman and Kid Millie. I don't know him, but it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, you guys have been talking about this one and we're finally checking it out. So let's begin with it. Before we jump in though, make sure to check out my Patreon where you can see more than 500 exclusive reaction videos to BTS, Twice, Red Velvet, Dreamcatcher, IU, Blackpink, Life Stages by these groups, including Tame In Life Stages and also Super M Life Stages where he features and uh, K-Drum reactions like my Mr. Hotel de Luna, It's Okay to Not Be Okay, Scarlet Heart, ET1 Class, Squid Game and The Producers. So all of that is on my Patreon, the link is down below. Let's begin with it. Unfortunately, there is no official audio on YouTube or I just couldn't find it but this one is like it's the same the sound quality is the same because I, I remember I reacted to a different song using this channel an audio by this channel and it was fine so with this one I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay in case I hear something I'll you know maybe switch to a different video so this is Kid Mili. Mm-hmm. So Wow, I'm enjoying the instrumental so much here. So I'm hearing I think a piano, maybe some kind of string instrument or something or something that sounds like a string instrument and then this really scratchy prominent bass it actually reminds me of the instrumental for louder than bombs i really like that song by bts really really like it so it's kind of like that it's got got the darker quality to it definitely <laughs> Okay. I was already enjoying the instrumental with Kid Millie's voice, even though I'm not familiar with him. But when Taman comes in, but when Taman comes in. Oh, 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 this part. Wow, wow, really like the word choice here. Okay, no, I, I, I know it's right before the chorus. I'm pausing before the chorus, but I gotta talk about this bit as well. This rhythm, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. really, really like it. The melody is really dark. The melody that he's singing is really dark here. Sounds really minor. 
내두 손이 나의 눈을 가릴 때 That's okay 낮은 밤이 되고 밤은 낮이 돼 That's okay uh. 태양을 다리 삼켜 낮과 밤이 공존해야 내 안에 숨어있던 너를 마주할 수 있어 something like tin 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 something like this the melody that's going on in the background in the instrumental it's in the background like the bass is in the forefront and that kind of string melodies in the background but still it keeps this uh kind of epic atmosphere to it Wow, yeah, yeah, seriously guys, the melodies that he's singing here are really unusual. If you know music theory pretty well, let me know what, what kind of scale it is. I'm pretty sure it's either minor or something else that sounds kind of minor-y, but it's, yeah, it's definitely not a, a usual scale, I want to say. something Something feels pretty unique about it so just like it, in some places it's particularly unsettling the intervals that he's using there Ooh. I, uh, yeah, I didn't expect to hear something like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was actually expecting to hear. I wasn't really thinking about that when I, like, was about to listen to the song. But, wait, so hold on. Famous is from the same album, right? I think so. So maybe they're really leaning into this kind of, uh, really 808, really bass heavy instrumental in this album, which is super awesome. Um, if not, uh, but but you know, I think there are other songs on the album as well uh, that sound really different. But okay, anyways, uh, let's get to the lyrics, see what this one is about. Let's do it. All right, let's begin. <laughs> I'm 
낮은 밤이 되고 밤은 아직 돼 That's okay uh. 태양을 다리 삼켜 나 거밤이 공존해 yeah. 내 안에 숨어있던 너를 마주할 수 mm. 있어 I didn't talk about this um, faint harmony right here. But you can hear there's this uh, voice doubling type of effect. And the other part of the voice is, I think, an octave lower. And it's just, it, again, it creates this unsettling feel just like the rest of the, um, of the melody. Oh. I see why you guys have been talking about this one. Wow. 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 So it's probably also because like not only because you personally like the song, but because you knew that it was going to fit my taste because it's really this kind of sad or dark or unsettling type of feeling is something that I really enjoy in music. So here everything, the instrumental, the kind of sounds that they used in the instrumental, right? It was really uh, bass heavy, so I like that. Uh, so this part, then the melodies on his voice, his voice itself, everything I liked. I just, yeah, yeah, this one, I I really enjoyed it. I know there is a great choreography word. I haven't seen the video, obviously, um, but I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check out that live stage for sure. Uh, really excited about that. I really. I, I hope I'm going to like the choreography because the song sounds really, really nice. And if I like the choreography, then probably eventually I'm going to learn it too. And uh, yeah, and do the choreo. Man, this is so cool. I really enjoyed this one. Yes, and Kid Millie, I liked his voice too. You know, obviously he's not just a singer, he's a rapper, but he he fit this kind of instrumental very very well as well so it's not only Taemin who fits this kind of concept yeah he he sounded good i liked him too mm, so yeah something like that something like, really looking forward to the life stage that's gonna come sometime in the future so something 
but it's gonna be on Patreon. So if you wanna watch it, check it out. The link is down below. So yeah. Yeah, something like that, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know how you feel about the song. What do you think it's about? Because I couldn't really decode the meaning of it. I read the words, but I couldn't put them together and into one. Except, you know, um, like, it seems like he's singing about another person, right? So these two characters and from his perspective, he is um, in this blinding love with the other person or yeah, something like that about their relationship mm. or maybe it could be about something else. So let me know about that too. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching once again. Keep listening to great music and love.